Well, I, I think, think our, our program, our entire program, um, is built on really one purpose. We have a mission that we want to be the best team in college football and the best program in college football and the way that we do everything. But really, our purpose and my purpose for taking this job and being in college football is so that young people, when they're 25, 30, 35, 40, that they say, you know what, my life is better because I, I went to Nebraska. You know, and people might scoff at that, but that's that's just why we do what we do. And so uh, we try to attack each and every day, every single player in terms of who they are as football players, but who they are as students, and also who they are as people. And young people right now in our society, I mean, there's never been a time where, where they're there's been more peril towards our, our younger generations, right? Coming out of COVID, they're way, way less resilient, there's way less connections. And so, um, whereas when I grew up, my connections were the Boy Scouts and the high school and the local church and all these things, like kids nowadays are suffering from stress and anxiety and depression. And a lot of it, people believe, is because they don't have those connections. A lot of kids are just connected to their phones. And so our program, if you watch it, like we're out in the community every, all the time. And, and Gus Felder, our player development guy, does a tremendous job, and we're impacting the community because I want us to have connections, connections to each other, connections to the community. Um, we're at a lot of a lot of education's online now, but even then, we're still doing it in, in our academic environment because kids they, they, they can't leave college and not know how to be in a meeting. They can't learn not how to have discourse. They can't not know how to disagree with people and learn how to listen to other people. That just wouldn't the world be a better place if we all knew how to disagree with each other respectfully? So. Um, and, then, and, then, and then the spiritual component, whatever their worldview is, we have, we have players that are Christian, we have players that are Muslim, we have players that don't maybe believe in anything. Whatever their worldview is, um, we're there to walk them through that. We're there to be there for them because who they are as people is way more important than who they are as players. And that might not be popular and we all want to talk about transfer portals and NIL and all that stuff. That's cool. These, these, this, this group of kids is going to wake up in 10 years and all that will be gone and who they are as people will matter. So that's, that's kind of our purpose and I appreciate the question.